where this will go wow. in order to make enough vaccines that will make a, you know, a, a reasonable protection for the population. Sure. Well, you've been a guest on the show before. I'm glad you got in today. You want to write an article for us about that and send it over. We'd like to get your perspective uh, on why an Ebola vaccine won't work uh, at this point. Thank you so much for the call. Sean in Nevada. As a doctor, works in an emergency room. Sean, thanks for calling in. Uh, give us your take on the situation. Hey, thanks for having me, Alex. Um, my take is that um, we may be dealing with something more than just spread by, you know, bodily fluids. Um, you know, we get a CDC announcement uh, today that you need to have a respirator. You need to have uh, basically a level three bio suit to engage with these patients. Um, that's becoming concerning to me that the CDC sends something out like that. Um, unfortunately, they can lag in their response to different infections. And then in the state of Nevada, if you're a licensed physician, you get notifications through um, the, uh, uh, the sort of infectious disease gurus out of Vegas. And they are now sending out a warning sheet of what to look for in patients who may have Ebola. And as far as I know, there are, quote, unquote, no reported cases of Ebola in the United, in the United States. But now, because it takes weeks for it to show up uh, before you know somebody's sick, uh, I guess that's why they're doing this. Well, my, my concern is, is that do we have a bunch of little time bombs walking around the streets of America that are going to suddenly explode and we're going to suddenly start having cases? And it certainly doesn't help, like Dr. Davis suggested, bringing in infected people because none of us really train for dealing with this level of infectious disease. It's not commonplace for us to down up and deal with patients uh, of this caliber uh, in our emergency rooms here in America. And so it's really concerning that it's probably going to walk into one of our emergency rooms one day and you're going to have staff that are going to be fearful to care for these patients. You're going to have staff that can become infected and then ultimately other patients who are already jeopardized medically in the hospital becoming contaminated. And it's going to be a nightmare. I tell you, uh, what do you make of the typhoid Mary scenario that some of these people may be basically immune from it, but may still be long term carriers, not just for two or three weeks, but for longer. Uh, this could just keep going on and on if it gets out of Africa, which Ebola's never done because they would never allow people out of Africa that had it. I just it, it seems like intentional that they're trying to have a cover story for why Ebola gets into the West. I think you're absolutely right, Alex. It's that kind of scenario uh, that is very concerning. And unfortunately, people may be, you know, sharing space with these folks already. And unfortunately, with the international travel as it is now and really kind of unregulated when screening for diseases like this, um, I mean, my thoughts are it's already here. And if we do have somebody who's resistant to the virus, um, then those people are going to be able to go farther and longer without detection. And you're absolutely right about that scenario. Wow. Uh, a, a lot of medical doctors and virologists uh, are saying that it's much worse than what the CDC or World Health Organization is saying. This top German virologist told Bild Friday that he believes 5 million people from the computer models they have will, and this is one of the top virology uh, facilities in the world, 5 million w will die. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I, I'm not a virologist. What does that sound like to you? Well, it sounds conceivable. I mean, it's happened before in our history. So, I mean, if something like the Spanish flu can wipe out gross swaths of population, um, then absolutely this can. And we're really not prepared for it. I think, unfortunately, a lot of Americans um, have their heads buried and think they're immune or protected or it's not going to be me. And that kind of mentality doesn't allow for the vigilance necessary to pick this stuff up early and to deal with it appropriately. And there's going to be people who come into the ER and they're just going to be sent home either with antibiotics or, you know, some treatment for the flu or and, and the next thing you know, they're going to go home to their family, contaminate them, um, and the cycle will continue. But absolutely, if this is truly something that now is possibly airborne, you're talking a million that could be lost. There's, there's no doubt about that. Thank you so much for the call, doctor. It's a doctor in Las Vegas calling in. We have some footage that came out about a week ago. We're going to repost it to InfoWars.com because it's so powerful of a video in a market, an open market in Liberia. Again, if you're a radio listener, go to InfoWars.com. We just posted it minutes ago. We're going to tweet it out at Real Alex Jones. And it shows a man who they believe has Ebola trying to get food in the market, basically wandering around with a club in his hand uh, and uh, people uh, chasing him, police chasing him, and then the hazmat crew showing up and, and, and rounding him up to take him basically to a medical camp where people are just 
in many cases, strapped down to die now because the medical workers have gotten ill or, or died themselves. This is really the breakdown of society. We're going to roll some of this in mainstream news articles from two years ago that they believe Ebola is becoming airborne. There have been different strains that have been before. And that it's basically been covered up. Now, again, the mainstream media's response was, we're lying, it's not true, we're conspiracy theorists. Well, here it is from Nova, PBS 1990, a year after the outbreak, reporting on the secret operation. And, and again, they will probably have all the usual suspects come out and say, none of this is real, none of this is happening. But, of course, it is. Here it is. In 1989, Ebola made its way to the U.S., Residents of this Washington, D.C. suburb had no idea that one of the world's deadliest viruses had emerged in their midst. In a primate quarantine unit in Reston, Virginia, monkeys in one of the holding rooms suddenly began to die. Secretly, a military team entered the quarantine unit and killed all 60 monkeys in the infected room. The crisis heightened as monkeys began to die in a different room. It appeared that the virus was moving through the ventilating system. In response, the military killed all 400 monkeys, ending the outbreak. This new strain of Ebola had shown the potential to spread through the air. Had it been lethal in humans, it could have been catastrophic. Okay. So that's one that they don't believe humans get. Now they're saying the type that humans can get two years ago in an African lab was spreading in the air. I'm going to say that again. Now that's in the precious New York Times. Something's different this time with this Ebola. And I've interviewed the medical experts, the doctors. I've done my research. I'm no virologist. I know something's going on here. And now they've got vaccines. And Bill and Melinda Gates are involved. Monsanto's involved. It stinks to high heaven. And we got Chris as a former EMT. We've got uh, Eric's becoming a doctor, wants to give us his take on it. And we've got a lot of citizens like Wyatt uh, and uh, Eric and Tim and others calling in. We're going to get to all of you briefly before we go to break, ladies and gentlemen. We are listener supported. We try to sell the very best products out there. Now is the time to have the X2 nascent iodine that has just been so incredible for my body and my immune system and my health. Uh, and now is the time to flush your gut out. That's 80% of your immune system with the oxy powder we have discounted that uh, CJ was telling me he took some of this weekend and had a pretty big effect. Uh, I mean, th this is the real deal for flushing you out. Nobody else has got it. It's proprietary by Dr. Group, oxy powder, InfoWarsLife.com. We've got the silver bullet, a powerful colloidal silver. We've got the super male vitality, super female vitality. Uh, we've got uh, the fluoride shield that chelates not just fluoride out, but so many other toxins and heavy metals. And you're not just getting the cutting edge, high-powered organic vitamins and minerals at InfoWarsLife.com. You're finding the very tip of a spear of an organization, InfoWars, that will tell the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth, so help us God. InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWarsLife.com, InfoWarsStore.com, or 888-253-3139. When you call, we can answer all your questions, tell you about a bunch of specials we're running, the best water filtration systems, 10% off with promo code WATER on the website. And when you call, 888-253-3139. Second hour, straight ahead, and I will commit heresy. Two plus two equals four, New World Order. Two plus two equals Thank four, you for Obama. Listening to GCN. We are going to expose it all. Visit GCN Stay with us. We are thought criminals. Second hour. This is Scottish John for Infowars.com. I know that most of you here in this commercial already know about the New World Order, eugenics, and all the other issues covered here at Infowars. The question is, do your friends and family know? If not, then I want to know why. Oh, I know it's tough to talk about this with some people. They might call you names, or they just want to talk about sports, or soap operas. I say, so what? There's a battle going on out there right now. The ammunition is information, and the soldiers are you. It's time to transform your game from passive listening 
winner to active participant. We from Scotland have had our skin in this game for the greater part of the last thousand years. And I'm still fighting. If we don't all stand up right now, we're going to lose everything. The Infowar is worldwide. Tell your friends about Infowars and let them know that Infowars doesn't print bull. It's real journalism and news backed up by documented facts. Step up and take your friends and family to Infowars.com, PrisonPlanet.tv and PlanetInfowars.com. The truth will set them free.